everybody! It's springtime in New York. All the blossoms are blooming, the magnolia trees, it smells gorgeous. And this is episode three of The Curious Cook. Our guest today is Rob Armstrong. He works in fashion for Derek Lamb. We're gonna get some fashion tips from him. And I've prepared some really springy appetizers and a cocktail for him. We're gonna have Aperol spritz and we're gonna have a lightly crisp focaccia. So we're doing like the spring Italian thing. We're gonna make an Aperol spritz. So we're gonna start with three ounces of Prosecco, which is a sparkling wine or champagne. It's, it's bubbly and it's sweet. <laughs> Who doesn't like that? So three ounces in each glass. Oh my God, it's fuming. I love it when it does that. So you want three ounces of Prosecco, which is just about that much in each glass. Pour it slowly and on the side, otherwise you will have a bubble foam explosion. Mmm, yummy. Then we're gonna add about an ounce of Aperol. Now this drink has rhubarb in it and orange in it, so it's got a bit of a bitterness to it, but mixed with the sweet, it's a beautiful combination. And look how spring that is! That's so spring! Now you just add a splash of sparkling water, you know, seltzer, club soda, whatever you want. Oh my gosh, okay. This should be the new brunch drink. I mean, mimosas. How bored are we of mimosas? We're so bored of mimosas. I'm going to welcome Rob Armstrong! Come on down! Hi. Ooh, hi, darling. <laughs> Look, it's an Aperol Spritz. Perfect. Let's cheers, cheers to spring. To spring. New life. New life. Love. Fashion. Love. See. Everything. Mm. Tasty. I'm amazing, right? Amazing. I know. What are the trends? So print? Denim. Denim. Oh, like, yeah. denim. Denim. A lot of denim. Um, bright colors. Coral mm. is huge. Like our drink. Like our drink. Aperol spritz. Coral. Um, Coral. Purples, yellows. Happy. Happy. Bright. Bright. Yeah, and it's like a new life. New it's life. A new life. Like we're coming into a new era. Era. This we are. This year, a whole new era. It, it is Big a whole new era. Happening. I mean, we got marriage equality in New York. And cheers. It is, cheers. You know, there's been Occupy Wall Street movement. Like times are shifting. People are dreaming. They are. It's amazing. Obama will be reelected. Yes, he will. Cheers to that. Cheers. So this is great. So what's it like work, working for Derek Lamb? Big it's fashion. Great. It's, it's great. Designer. The best thing about it is I get to work with him one on one, a lot. Wow. I'm with him like almost on a daily basis when I'm there. He pops in. He um, is really hands on with the business. He has a really great following. Um, it's the first time I've ever worked in Soho where the store is. I still don't understand what the hell you do. So like, excuse me if that offended anybody. What the heck you do? What the heck do I do? So like, explain your, some Italian. I'll give Italian... you a prime example. Okay. I get a phone call a few months back right after our spring show. So she said, I want this look. I said, great, I'll call you when it comes in. And she said, well, Google me and see what you think I might like. Oh. So instead of when this outfit came in, instead of sending her just the two pieces that she asked for, I sent her like 16 pieces to see what would stick. Oh. She kept half. So, so you're a stylist consultant. So if right. I was like, I need to go to a red carpet, I want to make a splash, I want to do like a Bjork swan dress thing, but like not that crazy. Not the head. Not right, no just, animals involved. I would part. come to you and I'd be like, make me stand out, but I don't want to go like crazy swan. Right, so you I, would know what to do I with me. I would dress you in that, but then I would dress you for the car ride there, for the Ooh, plane ride, and the for the after, after party. party. Now I know what after he does. Party. I'm gonna call yeah, you. Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's make some crispy focaccio. Focaccia. So right here, I've got flour, unbleached natural. It's um, one and three quarters cup flour. And we're gonna add a quarter teaspoon chili flakes and a teaspoon fennel seeds. But Rob, you're my special sous chef okay. today. So will you please add them in? Yeah, that's why I wash your, my hands. Your chili adding technique. <gasps> He's a natural. Get it in there. Do it again. Ah! And then I take my fingers and I go, hmm. You wanna do it? Okay, that feels really good, you do it. Do it. It's Maybe amazing. It's like Feels good. Well, I can tell it's unbleached. How can you tell? It's texture. This is a, he, because he's a stylist. Mm, from he Utah. Color. We're big into baking in Utah. So we're gonna add two tablespoons of olive oil, and then we're gonna just mix it with our hands. Why don't you do that, Rob? Yeah. So you're from Utah. Utah. What's your background? Um, Mormon. So you grew up Mormon? Yeah. 
So how did your family react when you came out? Um, they weren't surprised, obviously. Mm. But, you know, I'd gotten married and had a kid and everything <gasps> in that space of the time. So they were just like, my sister said when I came out, she's like, you lived in the closet, but it was completely like glass. So it wasn't like it the was- glass The glass closet. The glass closet. That's a new term. Yeah. I love that. So it wasn't anything, but they were amazing. Everybody. The first time I brought my husband home to meet my family. You're a married yeah. man. Mm -hmm. And the first time I brought him home, we just had been dating for maybe six months and brought him home and both sets of grandparents were there. All my siblings, aunts and uncles, they they like him more than they like me, honestly. Good, right. So you're like, you guys can no. talk and I can It's actually really opened their eyes to like bigger things um, in the medical community, in with politics, you know, AIDS research and, oh. uh, and things like that because my mother's in the medical community. Oh. So it's also made her aware that not all gay people okay. get AIDS just because because that was when when I first came out, that was her main concern. Mm. But it's like it's also safety and just being aware of what you're doing. Yeah. And I think it made that misconception that in Utah they have that, and so it's helped them with politics. You know, when it's really made them pause and think about what they want politically more than they would before. Oh, so you've opened their eyes and they've grown and changed with you. Right. Same with my fundamentalist Christian relatives. That's good. Same thing. Like I, like, I took a while to tell them, and then by the time I told them, they were like, you just seem happy. We're just happy you're happy. Like, we yep. can just see it. That's what it is. They just yeah. want you to be happy. Yeah. I mean, and, and believe me, 10 years ago, I would have been like, no way I'm telling them. But yeah. like, after they see you for years being happy, they're just like, we love you. Yeah. Like, we don't get it. Is it is what it and is. And then they start getting it. They're and like, I feel like oh, there's so the many same. positive role models today. In the media, in the media, TV. Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. You know Patrick Harris, you know, Matt Bomer. People that middle America can associate with a little bit more because they Glee. see it. Glee, a huge one. So you can be bored Mormon, come out of the closet, have your family eventually love you again. Like not like they stop, but like accept you and love you yeah. and get married and have family if you want. Because we were born this way. Yes. To bring a and God circle. makes no mistakes. No mistakes. We're on the right track, baby. We were born this way. So um, I prepared this before because you have to let the dough sit for 30 minutes. And I'm going to put a little flour on the counter. And I'm going to roll this dough out. And we want to make it really thin. Really Why do we want to make it thin? Because it's focaccio, baby. Okay. Focaccio is thin. And it's going to be crispy. It's crispy focaccio. Crispy. I look good. Have you ever made focaccio? I haven't. Well, now you are. I like the way like, the chili flakes are like spreading in color. That's pretty. But you know what? This seems like it's hard to make, but it's not. It's a good like, workout too. Like, because I was telling my mom, you know, we're gonna make this recipe, and she was like, "That sounds hard. I would never do it." But it's it's not hard. Like, you really, you should try this. Try it and tweet about us, Facebook us, like communicate with us, and tell us what it's like. Show us pictures of it. If you have any extra tips for us, did you make a little change? You know, add a different spice. We want to hear it. So I'm gonna put a little olive oil on this, and I'm gonna spread it around. It's a great spreader. Thanks. It's a happy spring spreader. Spring color. 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 Passion. Color. Okay, we actually have to lift this and put it on here really carefully. So you do this with me. Yeah. So what's in, like colors? You were talking to me about flapper dresses? Yeah, because um, you were saying that your grandmother was a flapper. Yeah. And Gucci just did a bunch of flapper dresses. Now I'm going to cut, I'm just going to make it really pretty because you're here and it's fashion and yeah. everything's pretty. I'm going to make like a beautiful square. You don't have to make it a square, but I mean if you're entertaining, I mean, it's really great to like have things be visual. When you're talking about them, you having like a Facebook and a Twitter, people could like send in pictures of what they made. <gasps> you can make different shapes, ovals, circles, Square. squares, okay. triangles. So I'm gonna make little strips. Whee! So why am I making the perforations in this? Um, so that it doesn't crack. Oh, because it's I would have really, never thought of that. It's really hot. It's 550 degrees. And this is crispy. Yeah, we need a little olive oil. Why don't you brush it? Oh, thank you. 
And then some sea salt. Looks so good. No. I like sea salt. Who doesn't? And into the oven. Six to eight minutes. Six to eight. We are finished, Rob. So excited. This is some sharp goat cheese. Right here for you, darling. Thank you. It's still warm from the oven. Oh, it smells so good. Go ahead. Dig in. Oh, wait. You're going to wait? I'm You're so pop. You're brought up with manners. A couple. You're so adorable. You're adorable. This is so much fun. So thank you so much for coming. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. If you have any questions for Rob about it, fashion, being in New York, or what it, was, what it was like to come out as, you know, as gay and coming from a Mormon family, feel free to email us, Twitter, us, questions, Facebook us, and we'll get you in touch with Rob. Love it. Love right? It. Would you love of course, that? Of course, of course. Good, because I already said it. <laughs> <laughs> and tune in for our next episode of The Curious Cook. Yay! Yay!